Hello YouTube, um, Asus just released a quick update, it was a bug fix um, for the app backup application, so now it works um, pretty much perfectly, there's no flaws. So how it works is you get a new app icon here, you go into it, here's all your apps, you can choose to back up the data only, which is your save files, your progress, anything like that, or the data and app, which will back up all the app files. Um, data and app will obviously take up much more memory. Uh, but anyway, then you can just select all of them, hit backup, it asks you the file you want to save, and if you want to password protect it, um, then it takes about four or five minutes to do it, and you can have it run in the background, and then it saves the backup file to both your internal backup and your micro SD card if you have one. So that's really good if, um, in case you lose the memory card, in case your internal memory gets wiped you'll have the files that you can just back them up. Um, also, I would just like to go over my new ROM that I'm using. Um, I recently rooted my device, so I decided why not install a new ROM. Um, so I got Revolver ROM. Um, I don't mean to copy the Innocent, we're kind of partnered up. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Um, he has a transformer running a Revolver ROM too. Uh, I just, I tried Revolutions HD, I've tried Prime, and I didn't like either of them very much. Then I got this one, and I liked it a lot, so I was like, you know what, I'll just keep it. Um, so basically what it does, it uh, speeds it up a bit without getting a new overclocked kernel. Um, which is a huge benefit, because overclocked kernels seem to just slow down my device. Um, you actually get an app here called Revolver Parts, which makes it easy to install mods, uh, different kernels if you want a different kernel, uh, themes, other extras, and then you can change a bunch of system files, and the status bar. By default, it gives you the zoom uh, buttons here, and a different font, except I wanted the regular buttons and the regular font. Um, but also it gives you this, which is it's a lot nicer than the whole list of words and stuff, it's easier. And it gives you a little battery number on the battery logo itself, so you don't have to open it up to see what your battery percentage is. Um, other than that, when you go to power down, you hold down the power button, and now it gives you four options. Um, shut down, reboot, reboots it, recovery puts it into clockwork mod, and status bar makes it so you can show or hide the status bar, which um, is, I find it pointless unless you have the dock. Because if you have the dock, then you have all the, the shortcut buttons on the keys, and you don't need this virtual st um, bar here, so you can just get rid of it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Also, if you have the dock, there's a way where you can get, like, a battery icon for the tablet and for the dock separately. So it lets you see how much charge is left in your dock without actually needing to go into an app. Um, I don't know, that's pretty much it. Um, but also, the revolver... They release updates extremely quick. Like Asus released their bug fix earlier today, and ROM or not ROM, Revolver had an update to their system like within a few hours after it. So um, I will most likely go back to the default Android launcher for Ice Cream Sandwich when it's released, just so that I can get a video quicker. But then once um, Revolver has their version of Ice Cream Sandwich, I will be going right to that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of let you know what's going on. And let you know about the update that App Backup now does work. Um, I believe the market's exactly the same. Yeah, it is. Nothing's changed there. Um, so, yep, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please go up there, hit subscribe, or go down there, hit the like button. Um, either of those, just show your support. It helps me out a lot, and it motivates me to make more videos like these. And I really couldn't do it without all your support. So, uh, thank you very much for supporting me until now, and please keep on doing it. You're doing a great job at it. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.